third and final test of the um, new camera. Here it is on the motorbike today. What I'm going to do, I'm happy with this 960 tall HD setting. Um, I've had a look at the files uh, down here on the Mac. You've got to remember that um, when they're uploaded to YouTube, they are in fact degraded because YouTube converts them to their own um, sort of format for display and that in fact degrades them. So the actual files down here on Earth, as it were, uh, look better than uh, they do on YouTube. But um, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with the configuration of this thing. All I'm going to do is change um, the metering to centred rather than, I'm sorry, to average rather than centred um, to take account of the fact that um, we're going to be going through all sorts of uh, different weather conditions. Today, for instance, it's sunny, but there's broken cloud around, so it's different from the previous two days. Yesterday was overcast, the day before was bright sunshine with no cloud. Today it's sunny with broken cloud. So what, you, what you've got to do is basically set the cameras up to the best sort of average, so you're going to get the best picture. It's sort of lowest common denominator exercise, really. So what I'm going to do is test this against this, which is my Mobius camera. This is the uh, my dash cam from the MG. It'll fit on the uh, on the fitting on the motorbike. So what I'll do is I'll go around Breeden Hill again in about half an hour, so it's the same time of day as the other tests, and stop halfway round, if I remember, and swap uh, the motorbike cam for the Mobius dash cam. This is a true dash cam in that it records in five minute chunks, will then go back to the beginning, record over itself and turns on and off with the ignition in the car, so I don't really move that, I just have it permanently in the car. I've just removed it for the purposes of this test, so there we go. Um, we'll have a look at the test results when I whip round Breeden Hill. Okay, well we'll have a quick look, at, a very quick look at some clips. Um, this is, we're coming up to the very juddery bit, and we're starting off with the Mobius. Now the mount on my fairing um, is at a bit of a funny angle, uh, which the contour can cope with because it's got a rotating lens. The Mobius doesn't have that, so we're at a bit of a weird angle here, um, but that's the best I could do with the Mobius. But as you can see, the actual camera is performing fine. We've got a bright day with broken cloud um, and you can see the shadows are quite pronounced if you have a look at my shadow. Um, the mounting however is causing an awful lot of vibration on uh, this particular bit of the route, more so than on the contour. The contour weighs a lot more so I think it, um, it dampens down the vibration a bit more. Uh, but neither camera has an image stabilisation setting. And um, here we're coming up to the really bumpy bit, aren't we? Yeah, the road surface here is appalling. Look at that huge divot down the middle of the road. Um, on the bike, you can either go wide to the right or stick in to the left on that bit. It's, it's um, terrible, really. Yeah, but not bad. I mean, the camera's performing fine. It's 1080p. It's processing all the information. That's great. Okay, and here we are. We've turned off onto the country lanes where the shadows, uh, because the trees and shrubbery and everything is closer, shadows tend to be um, more sort of intense and uh, you get more of this dark light, dark light effect um, as here. And actually the Mobius is coping quite well with it, um, a lot better than I remember actually. Uh, maybe that's because it's the winter and the sun is in fact quite weak. Uh, in the summer I had problems with that. Um, the Mobius coping with contrast really, intense contrast. It didn't cope so well but in this light it's doing fine. Um, as you can see, yeah, it's fine, isn't it? Again, no stuttering from the camera. Um, we're just poke, fiddling around this little village. Yeah, absolutely fine.
And here we're coming up to the point where I'm going to change over and um, I come to a stop up here and we're going to change over to the contour. And that, note how the cloud has gone in front, over the sun now and it's overcast. And when I start off again it'll be the contour. Right, and here's the contour and as you can see the colours are a lot better. Um, you've got, you haven't got that overall grey effect of the Mobius. The greens are green, the browns are brown, and it just, although I don't think the image is actually as sharp, the colours are definitely better. And we're off and we'll just go along here to the end of the road. Um, and as I say, the contour has a rotating lens, which I'll show you uh, at the end of this video. We'll compare the two and decide whether the contour is worth the extra money. Yeah, again, we're in this 960p format, tall 960, and it's fine. It's absolutely fine. Okay, I'll just show you a bit more with the contour. Um, we've covered it quite well in the last couple of days. I know how you all love filtering. <laughs> how you're also jealous in the States. Well, here's another good filter at Ashton Cross. Um, here we go. Just poke myself in there, thanks very much. <laughs> One of the joys of motorcycling, I assure you. And um, this happens again. Uh, a bit later on. But as you can see the camera's doing absolutely fine there's no problem with it on this 960 setting um, and we've had it all really, we've had bright sunshine, we've had it completely overcast, we've had the day where it's a mix of um, sun and broken cloud so I found um, more by luck than judgment a setting that covers most weather conditions you know without forever fiddling around with the blasted camera and adjusting the settings every time you bring it in. So here we go, um, I think that's enough of the contour, we've seen enough of that in a couple of days. And one more thing I wanted to show you on this ride is if you ride a motorcycle you have to put up with this crap the whole time. She was very nice and apologised but so what. Okay, final part of the test. Is this camera which costs 180 quid, worth the difference uh, with this camera, the Mobius, that costs 60 plus 13 quid for a waterproof case if you want to use it on a motorcycle. Is the price difference justified? Well, the Contour has some upgrades over the Mobius that are in fact incredibly useful. Um, the most useful of which is this lens rotates so you can get the footage exactly level if you remember to use it, which I didn't this morning. <laughs> and also to help with that process there's a laser. So you point it at a wall, you get it mounted on the motorbike, point the motorbike at a wall or somewhere where you can see it and you turn the laser on. don't know where this is going to show up, but that, um, that in fact produces a red line which um, you won't be able to see unless I do this like that. Can you see that? Probably not. But it produces a horizon that uh, you can use to get the footage completely level. This is waterproof out of the box and it's also a lot heavier than the Mobius frankly. It's a lot heavier and sort of feels more weighty and better constructed. This is plastic, it's light, but it's a good camera. It copes with 1080p better than the Contour. And the difference is, I'm saying, when you bought this and um, a case, you're looking at sort of 75 quid, this is 180. So is it 110 quid better? If I was starting again, would I buy that for the motorbike or would I buy another Mobius? Well, the price difference is too great, I'm afraid. I'd definitely go for another Mobius and a waterproof case and do a bit more work on the mount to make it less vibratory. It's a bit difficult on my bike because um, 
the fairing is very sort of odd at odd angles. It's difficult to get somewhere to to put it. Basically, it's got to be right in front. Um, the microphone on the Mobius is a lot better uh, than the Contour one, which is of limited use for the use I'm going to uh, put it to anyway. The Contour also has this system whereby in the back there's a little switch where you can switch between one and two which gives you two diff completely different sets of settings. Um, in my view, for what I want it for, that's an unnecessary complication. I'd just rather get one set of settings right to cover all the sort of situations I'm likely to meet and leave it at that. I don't really need that second setting. So again, you know, you're paying for something, or I would be paying for something, or I have paid for something that is not really necessary. So yeah, I think I made a mistake. I think I should have got another Mobius and a waterproof case. The footage, um, the colours are better on the contour. There might be some settings I can tweak on the Mobius, but that is Windows only software on the Mobius. And my Windows 7 installation in Boot Camp on the Mac has um, died <laughs> terminally. I need to reinstall Windows and um, I can't find my Windows disk following my move so I'm a bit stuffed at the moment until that turns up. Uh, but that is infinitely configurable as well, the Mobius, if you like fiddling around with it. I don't want to fiddle around with it, I want to set it up, I want to set them both up properly so that they just work, so I can just grab the cam and go. So there you are, um, I like the Contour and it's going to be my motorbike cam for a bit. But I think I wasted 100 quid there, to be quite honest. I think I'd have been just as well off with the Mobius and maybe tweaking the settings. OK, that's my test of the uh, the Mobius and the Contour Roam 3. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks very much for watching.